Hello, RPC family. I'm Pastor Paul here with another Midweek Gospel Touchpoint. When I was young, I used to love going to see my grandparents, but they lived very far away. It was a nine hour drive with me annoying my sisters in the car, you know, all of us annoying our parents. We loved to see them, but it was somewhat of a burden to see them. And so we didn't do it that frequently because of the distance we had to cross. I think frequently we can do the same thing with God. When we imagine to go and speak with them, we need to cross some sort of distance, either because we feel guilty about something we've done uh, or because we imagine we have to adopt some super holy posture in order to talk to them when that's just not true. In Jesus' beautiful parable of the prodigal son, there's a man who departs from his father. And when he realizes how badly things have gone and returns, what does the father do? The father runs to him. The father embraces him and receives him back into a relationship. See, when we imagine that we have to cross some huge distance or do something in order to have communication with our God and Father, we are forgetting his gospel promises of just how loved, just how accepted we are as redeemed sons and daughters of God. And so my challenge to you is to take one or two of the next upcoming days and really take 1 Thessalonians seriously when it says, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. What does it mean to pray without ceasing? To realize that God, because of his acceptance, is constantly with us. To talk to him, to share our feelings, our needs, our hurts, whatever is on your mind, as much as you can when just not distracted by the world around you. But to really realize what it means that we have his spirit dwelling with us and the acceptance of his gospel love. Really take advantage of that sometime in the next couple days and, and just live praying without ceasing. Thanks all. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.